there's more to hunting than people realize. Nothing puts your soul at ease like being out in nature. There's a turkey. Just had this hen fly down, soared into the middle. Now she's working up into the decoys. So we'll see. Hopefully, a Tom's here somewhere. up with this turkey but something ain't right I mean this hen is 12 yards in front of me I've had my mask off nothing I'm talking to you guys right now nothing I don't know what's going on with it but so far we had a bearded hen which is right to our front right another hen and this hen that have all flown down right in front of me really worried about this turkey. I mean, look at this. Still, just chilling there. There's the bearded hen. 
she's right behind that grass coming up. Jake decoy. She has about knocked it over. <laughs> That's one eager hen right there. Oh, she's still trying. She's still trying to get under it. What are you doing, girl? You horny devil. This has been worth waking up just watching her. Oh, that's awesome. decoy trying to get bread. She has returned. She's clucking at it. Oh, she's pecking it. I see you down there. I see you. She's literally pecking the decoy. never seen a hen this ready to be bred this late in the season in my life.
This hen has literally been here all day. <laughs> oh, I love it. Ain't about killing them. She is so comfortable with me right now that I don't have my mask on. She doesn't even care. She knows she's safe. Well, our horny little hen friend, she finally gave up trying to breed or get the Jake to breed her. She worked off. I seen another hen way down on the bottom. But I haven't heard any gobble seen any times. It's 11 o'clock right now. But you can bet, even though it's real slow, I haven't heard a gobble in a while. Actually today, I heard, we didn't even hear it yesterday, but we seen a bird gobble. That's how far he was, but couldn't even hear it. Just seen him. So it's been a while, but you can bet your ass I'm going to soak in every minute the spring turkey woods. I mean, this is what I live for right here. Ain't about killing. That was fun to watch her. She was here till about 10 minutes ago. So, I mean, she, first thing, hen flew down, middle of the field, worked up. Another hen flew down, which was bearded. Uh, went right after the Montana decoy. And uh, then worked with the other hen. Then that third hen flew down. And, hell, she was in the decoy spread for, from 5.46 to about 10.45. <laughs> She'd work off, come back, work off, come back. It was really quite comical. That's what it's about for me. 13 feet away from her. She had no idea. I didn't even have my mask on for half of it. I was just enjoying it. And watching the other hens mill through the field. I'm going to miss it. It ain't about gobbling birds. It ain't about punching tags. It, for me, it's just there's nothing more peaceful for me and hunting spring turkey. I mean, it's just because you never know what could happen. Hell, we could get a long beer that comes just bull rushing in right now. You never know. And it's just this time, especially today's Memorial Day, I just reflect on all, how no words really sum up how thankful I am for those who've paid that ultimate price, sacrifice for people they didn't even know. All of us, we can do what we do. We can sit in a field, hunt turkeys. We can do whatever we want. I mean, I, I don't know any words that can sum up how thankful I am for those currently serving and those who didn't come home. I mean, without them, God only knows if we'd even be able to do this. So I'm just taking this time, soaking in every second I can of turkey woods. It's been a real good day. Reflect on what I'm thankful for. There's more to hunting than people realize. Nothing puts your soul at ease like being out in nature. There's a turkey. I don't know what it is. I better, I better call to it. Looks like it might be a hen, but I can't tell. Well, I got its attention. Anyways, while I keep an eye on this old, old son down there, or woman, or bearded hen, or whatever it is, this hunt's already a success. To be that close to the three turkeys without knowing them here. Hell, they flew right down into the decoys, two of them. Pretty cool. 
Just give them a little soft purr on the mouth call and they're in there. The one landed in the decoys. <laughs> Felt like I was stuck on them. But guys, I just hope you guys take this time to spend with family and friends. I know all of us turkey hunters, if you're still hunting like we are, tomorrow's our last day. It's been a long season. Most of us, well, for those who travel, you miss your family, you miss your friends. You put a lot into chasing these, these turkeys around. It's pretty crazy. But take this time, enjoy it with family and friends, grill, drink some bush lattes or water, whatever floats your boat. It'll be lattes for us, cornhole lattes, burgers, and taking time to thank those who aren't with us to do this anymore that allowed us to do this. Okay, guys, that's probably going to be a wrap unless something happens real quick. This is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. We got one more go at this tomorrow. We'll see if we can't get Hawk on a bird. He's been close so many times this year. It's ridiculous. So many birds in range, you just can't get the shots. I have a feeling we'll get a last day magic for them. We'll see though. I mean, I got the bread out right now. I'd like to try to punch a tag with it, but if I don't, ain't no biggie. As long as God lets me live to chase them again. That's all I care about. Hey guys, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. And as always, We'll catch you on the next one.